Hello and welcome to the first Olympics Daily, the FT's video roundup of everything that's been happening in and around the Games. Kicking off today, I'm joined by Roger Blitz, who's the man leading the coverage for the paper. Roger, welcome. Thank you. Uh, it's a project that's been seven years in the making. Finally, here we are today. It's the opening ceremony. Are you excited? I'm excited, but mostly relieved. I'm just glad we finally got here. And I think that sense of relief was felt uh, yesterday in central London, the torch coming through uh, the centre of town. I, did you see it? I, mean, I have seen it. It's been following me everywhere. It was just a sense of thank goodness we're here, but also, you know, let's let's get on with it. It's really exciting. OK, great. Now, let's see a little bit about where we are here today. Um, interesting story, Foreman's Fish Island. You've been here before. Tell us a bit about it. Yes, this is a smokery that uh, was one of the companies that they wanted to relocate. When they won the Games, they said, right, all these businesses have got to move. Foreman said, no, we're sticking where we are. We want to make use of the fact that we're so close to the Olympic Stadium. We want to, we see that as a business opportunity to grow. And good luck to them i think you know it's it's a great opportunity and i think it's emblematic of what this whole legacy opportunity is meant to be about can the staging of the games in this very deprived part of east london we're actually in hackney one of the poorest boroughs in the country can it revive uh, their fortunes and who knows okay now talking of london you've brought a prop with you today what's this this is one of the torches that was used for the 1948 Olympics. Uh, owned the by, last time that the Olympics were in London? Yes, and uh, uh, the, the grandfather of an FT colleague was the foreman of the company that made them. Uh, I think it's rather splendid, actually. It's, How uh, does it compare to the modern ones? Is it much heavier? It's about the same weight, actually, but um, uh, it's... It's got a lovely rustic charm to it. It's looking a bit battered as well. OK, now, of course, uh, this is the third time that London's hosts the Olympics, more than any other city in the world, at a cost of almost £9 billion. Mm. Is it going to have been worth it? Well, I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. Uh, I think this is a party, and I think people should enjoy it, uh, enjoy the moment. These opportunities really don't ever come around very often, so one should just have a, have a blast and then see what happens afterwards. Excellent. OK, now, today's tip of the day is what? Who's going to like the cauldron? Uh, uh, smart money is on Sir Roger Bannister, four minute miler, broke the four minute mile in 1954, one of the great British sporting uh, athletes. And uh, he will, uh, he's now 83, I think he's still fit enough to do it. The benefit is that he's not a celebrity. Uh, I was going to say, a sporting athlete rather than, rather than a celebrity. Please. Okay, and of course, as you said, uh, the to uh, torch is going to be lighting the cauldron at the opening ceremony tonight. Some 70,000 people entering that stadium. Um, you have had a sneak preview. Can you tell us anything about well, it? Well, I went to the re dress rehearsal on Wednesday. I'm not allowed to say what's in it. What I can say is that I felt it's very intriguing, full of British um, history, culture, uh, moments that people, not just in this country, but the big television audience abroad, will recognise and maybe appreciate. It's a fond fondness about Britain, that's what it's about. OK, and now for today's photo finish, which is a rather unusual picture of Tom Daly taking a photo um, uh, on top of his diving board. Uh, this reminds us, of course, this is the biggest digital Olympics. It is. It's uh, the Twitter actually went went bust yesterday because there were so many people tweeting about the Olympics. It's going to happen again tonight. It probably will happen repeatedly during the Games. Uh, it is a reminder that it is not just a great sporting occasion but a big social media event as well. Okay, thanks Roger. Um, we will tomorrow be in central London at the men's cycling road race. This is one of the first big hopes uh, of a medal win for Team GB. We'll see you then.